Hurricanes apologize for using Tranaki land wars to promote Chiefs match. The Hurricanes have admitted a post that used the phrase Tranaki land war to promote a super rugby clash with the Chiefs was a bad call. The post, which appeared briefly on the Hurricanes Facebook and Twitter pages on Tuesday night, was immediately lambasted on social media as naive, ignorant and offensive. Look, we were simply trying to promote a rugby game and it was a bad call, and it was taken down as soon as we realized it could potentially be offensive, Hurricanes spokesman Glenn McLean said. The Tranaki Land Wars began in 1860, following a dispute over the sale of D. It lasted until the end of the 19th century. It is unclear how many lost their lives in Tranaki alone, but the New Zealand land wars are believed to have claimed about 3,000 lives. Next to a screenshot of the Twitter post, Lenny Pitama wrote, This is disgusting. Do you have any idea how many of our people were murdered and our women raped in the land wars? How f touching dare you? Another Twitter user, Darren Cassidy, commented, A case of marketing without cultural and social conscience. It's sport, not war. Tranaki Rugby Football Union was associated with the Hurricanes Super Rugby franchise for 17 years until, in 2013, the union split and sided with the Chiefs. That was the intention behind the reference, promoting game this Friday at Wellington's Westpac Stadium, Hurricanes Chief Executive of Inle said. Our choice of words was per. We saw the post before it was released, and said he took full responsibility for what has labeled a genuine mistake. We're very upset that we've caused offense by the words we've chosen. It was one post amongst a number of pieces of marketing we use, and the only one that referred to the Tranaki relationship. Amori and Pacific culture within the Hurricanes was important, he said. We certainly don't want this to be a reflection of our attitude to our culture, because it's not. Typically, one marketing person and Lee would see promotional posts before they go online, but Lee said the team would ensure wider team are across this in future. ULKT Wayne Mulligan, of T. I'm a little bit um, I'm still getting over it. That's not that clever. That post was something that doesn't need to be repeated, Mulligan, who is also a director of the Wellington Regional Economic Development Agency, Rita, said. It shows a lack of understanding and tactfulness.
Mulligan blessed a coralie, feathered cloak, for the hurricanes last year, which was gifted to the British and Irish Lions captain Sam Warburton. He said he hadn't spoken to Leaf for some time, but would consider discussing it directly with him. I think we can have a discussion in the right environment. I'm going to talk to a few of my relatives. It's just disappointing. McLean said the post was up for less than an hour. Once we were made aware of the link, we took it down immediately and we have apologized to anyone who found it offensive. Two apologies had been issued so far, McLean said on Wednesday morning. He did not see the post before it went online, he said. Asked if he would have said something if he had seen it, McLean said, yes, I would have. There is a lot of history that I'm aware of involving Periak and all that, and a lot of people aren't. You can see how it's an innocent mistake, he said. The person responsible had no idea of the reference or link between the two. There is no way we would put anything deliberately out there that would cause any offense. Chief Sposs Mike Collins said the advertisement was news to him, though he understood the sensitivity around it. Being a Hurricanes home game, I am not aware of the advertising. Growing up in Tranaki I know that the New Zealand wars are an extremely dark patch in the history of the region and still a sensitive issue today, he said. I have no doubt that the Hurricanes meant no offense by their advertising, they simply may not have understood the gravity of the wars in the Tranaki region and the ongoing effects on Tranaki I would. Comments on this story are closed.